Hey everyone, welcome back to another Counterside video. Today's video, we're going to be featuring Awakened Lee Soo Yoon strategy and build. But before that, if you would have updated Counterside videos, please hit the subscribe button down below. Okay, guys, so we are here at Lee Soo Yoon Counter SSR Awakened SSR. Um, I was actually lucky today to get her in 10 pulls. I don't know if you've seen that live stream. But it's actually in my channel as well. So you may take a look at that um, once you're done with this video. She is actually a 5-cost Awakened unit. Actually, our first 5-cost Awakened uh, unit. And also, she is an, a Ranger Air type, by the way. And all-around attack. Okay, so let's take a look at her stats, guys. Her weakness, we'll start, we'll start with her weakness. Um, it's actually, all of them are below average. So it's going to be her HP. Um, well, kind of decent uh, below average HP at 32,670. Next is going to be her crit uh, below average as well at uh, 675. Next is going to be her hit rate, which is 823. And the last is going to be her defense at 418. Her strength actually are attack, which is actually high at 6336. And her evasion is also high. Um, I think uh, most rangers have a uh, low evasion, but for her, her evasion is actually high at 996. Okay, guys, so let's take a look at her skills. And so Lee Soo Yoon, um, skill info, uh, basic skill, basic attack. Valid hits is 2 for her basic attack. So fires a blaster, inflicting AoE damage on and around the target. In gauntlet, aerial melee attacks additionally inflict damage 20% of current HP. So aer aerial melee damage. So more damage to air units on the enemy side. So based on her current HP, which is 20% of her current HP. Levels 2, 3, 4 is going to be basic attack. Plus, uh, this is going to be a plus 15 total. At level 5, aerial melee attack targets healing minus 100 for 20 seconds. So, they don't get any healing for 20 seconds. So, again, she's she's really angry at air units on the other side. So, let's take a look at her passive, which is Ace Fighter's Qualifications. Banded hits is 3. Quickly enters the battle and attacks all units when deployed so enter the battlefield effect so enter the battlefield damage in gauntlet additionally inflicts damage on air units except for ship by 33 percent of their current hp so again uh, additional damage to those air units on the enemy side grants a non-awakened ranger counters immunity to hit stun for special and lower skills okay so this is actually the first of our buffs to counters uh, for the ranger counters level two three four is going to be air unit plus 10 so it, this is going to be a total of plus 40 percent damage and damage taken is going to be a minus uh 40 percent okay so she's really angry at air unit so uh 40 percent damage and damage taken is minus 40 percent level five is going to be a buff also add skill haste plus 30 percent which she she really needs okay special skill is going to be release arsenal wings okay valid hits is two um cooldown is going to be 23 seconds releases her new strategic uniform arsenal wings autonomous weapons inflicting aoe damage on and around her target casts a barrier equal to 30 percent of max hp for six seconds after the skill so she gives herself a nice nice shield actually decent shield and levels two three four damage is going to be you know additional 25 percent and level five damage taken minus 30 for barrier duration okay so barrier duration then also a minus 30 from damage um she's she's kind of pretty really tanky for a ranger um, ultimate skill strike code LSY. So this is actually her ultimate 48 second cooldown. Valid hits is going to be three. Combines her arsenal wings and reactive sword, inflicting AoE damage in front with her powerful energy. 
grants immunity to stun from special or lower skills for 12 seconds after this skill. Okay, so level 2, 3, 4 is a damage of a plus 25. And level 5 is going to be a cooldown minus 6 seconds, which brings it down to 42 seconds. And buff also adds attack plus 15. Okay, so... Um, this one, her passive, is actually going to be good because aside from giving immune to hit stun or special or lower skills, um, rangers are also added um, skill haste. So that is actually what is their benefit going to be. So it's going to be good for Gaeon, going to be good for um, Rosaria. So again, rangers will benefit from her passive. So let's go and move to... Um, which part am I? Let's go to her gear. Okay, so I have my Suyun Su Yun already at 110 and totally maxed out skills, uh, limit break, except for Siren Negotiation, of course. And the, these are her stats. And for my gear for her, um, gear set suggestions are either you focus on a full HP set which gives um, additional you know additional additional numbers to the buffs that she gives particularly I think it was a shield um, there are a lot of effects actually based on her HP also you could do a HP mix with evasion which I'm doing right now because I want to make sure that she evades attacks as well so again, um, decent ready at 43,787 for her HP. Again, so this is the second option. First option, all HP. Second option is HP evasion. The third option, which I saw actually was CDR set. Um, she's going to be quite squishy. But again, if you put her with CDR set, um, she's going to cycle her skills that more often. So you have three actually choices for her gear set. For her gear stats, as you can see here, let's uh, take a look at more yellow stats. Okay, um, this one, the, um, the gear stats that I'm talking about are the yellow ones. So HP is actually an option. Evasion is also an option and also skill haste. So those are the things that you should, I think, uh, focus on when building your Lee So Yun. Um, it's really up to you and what you want to prioritize. For me, um, this works. I already tried this. I'm gonna have to try to mix and match this with a CDR set depending on you know depending on my mood for PvP or for PvE. So more or less um, these are the gear sets that I am recommending and these are just my options uh, my, my opinions guys. Okay, so based on what I've you know play tested with her today, so let's do some summon air and ground unit. She is usually deployed right after you, you know, um, once the enemy, it, she's she's not going to be deployed, you know, uh, first. So she's usually going to be deployed either your third or your fourth one. So as you come in, she deals damage to whoever is it in the battlefield. Okay, so again, deploy her usually third or fourth, or even if in the fifth, if, if she's not in your current rotation, or your current hand so again she is a very good support if you have a lot of rangers support tanky enough for a ranger um has great survivability for a ranger um as long as you know how to put somebody in front of her she will stay that long so again ideally her hp should be either um uh, above average or high so that is your only option for her because again, um, once once you encounter, for example, snipers uh, that can take her out, then she would really need a lot of HP. Okay, so let's take a look at her skill here. So her special skill. That is her special skill. Okay, a um, lot of hits there. And uh, her ultimate is actually pretty much nice. Ooh. She's angry. She's really, really angry. 
especially for flying units. So it's like she's taking revenge, revenge on them. As you can see, she has a shield, shield on herself. And again, I would not consider her as somebody who can, you know, can really kill one on one. She's more of a support. She's more of a um, um, damage dealer slash support. Not really a one on one awakened unit. Okay, so that is how you play her um, as much as possible, time her deployment, and you will really, really, really like to, you know, play with her um, in PvP and also in PvE. Okay, so final thoughts for her would be PvE, 9 out of 10. So needs to deal, if you need to deal a lot of, or you need to clean up or deal a lot of damage to air units, then she's your girl. So she is really an air-to-air, -air, kind of an air-to-air -air specialist, but she can do, deal a good ground damage as well. Okay, she is going to be good, by the way, guys, in your consortium co-op. So you actually deploy her on the left side because uh, most of the air units are attacking your ship. So she is actually good there. After the boss actually spews that long lava, then you deploy her there. Because again, she'll be defending your ship. Um, in PvP, so she's going to be a 11 out of 10, really deterrent against flying units. A lot of flying units right now. You have, um, you have Evelyn, you have Rosaria, you have Lyudmila, you have, who else? You have Janus, and, um, she's going to be your, kind of your enforcer for air units. So, um... She's tanky enough. Don't worry. She's she's not going to be as um, as squishy as most strangers. She will be tanky enough. And also, once you add on to her HP, um, she'll be she'll be fine. And uh, buff a buff to non awakened rangers is going to be you know priceless for her, especially if you protect the back line. You have a good defense, and no one reaches the rangers. It can really deal a lot of havoc, especially for those rangers who really need to pull off their special and actually their ultimate skill, then they will really benefit from her. Okay, guys, so that is it. That is my take on Awakened Lee Soo-yoon. So hope you enjoy um, summoning for her. Hope you get luck uh, summoning for her and hope you enjoy playing her in PvP as well as, P as, well as in PvE. Okay, guys, so um, for those who have stuck this far, please consider subscribing to my channel because this helps my channel a lot. And also, don't forget to click that bell icon and put a like to this video. Thank you, guys. Stay safe. Take care. This is The Warden, and I'm out of here.